Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, we're doing great. As you see, the might be a little bit dark in here because we don't have no power, but we're still doing great because guess why? We have a propane stove here, and we're still cooking our supper. So, y'all, this is why I'm making this video. I just want to uh, mention a few things. Uh, just something for you to consider. I know a lot of you probably got electric stoves. And if you got a backup plan, that's great. You need to have a backup plan because you never know uh, when your power is going to go off. And if you got a generator or something like that, that'd be a great backup plan. You know, have like a little hot skillet, something like that, hot plate that you can cook your food on. Or, you know, if you got like a propane camp stove or a wood cook stove or maybe your wood stove that you heat your home with, you know, you can cook on that. That's, that's another backup plan we have. You know, we got generator and different things that we can uh different options there or you know if you want to go real old school which is perfectly fine as long as it's not raining on you go out there and build your campfire cook your supper right there on top of the uh, uh old campfire uh, you know whatever you need to do there but you know there's some states that's trying to ban gas stoves telling us we don't need them and you know, it's bad for for whatever reason, you know, I think I'm a little bit smarter than they are. They think they're smarter than us, but we're actually smarter than they are. But um, you got to, you know, uh, provide for your own self, make your own decisions, y'all. If y'all live in one of them crazy states that's tried to rob you of your freedoms, and I'm not going to name the states. Y'all, uh, y'all, y'all, you know, you probably know, uh, probably at least five of them right off the bat, you know, that sets, you know, all kind of crazy laws up to try to rob you your freedom and that like ain't no more than you do. You might reconsider about, you know, living in a state like that. And if you can, you might consider, you know, moving, you know. I've said it time and time again, you know. I've lived here in Mississippi uh, all my life. But, hey, thing gets hard, you know. I'll pack my bags up and I'll move somewhere that they're not trying to, you know, steal my you know, freedom completely from me. Now... I know I got on two different subjects there. We're talking about the stove. Now we're talking about freedoms. But hey, to me, this goes hand in hand. If you can't cook your supper and you can't have a, something as simple as a gas stove in your home, something's wrong with that picture. What do you think about that, Tasha? You cook all the time. If you had to have an electric stove and I had to just take your gas stove out of your home here, put an electric stove in your home for you to cook on, what do you think about it? Would you like it or what? I like it too much. I, I like my gas stove. I mean, I enjoy cooking on it. Well, could you cook on your electric stove if the power went out? No, you can't. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I, unless you got like a really big generator, then you could. But most people, you know, can't, you know, don't have a lot of options like that. But, um, y'all yeah, just wanted to come on here and make this little video. I thought it was appropriate, you know, you know, time to make a video on, on so like it. And when the storms come through, like I say, we was out power, you know, back and forth. But we had a generator that kept a refrigerator, you know, all the food and stuff uh, cold. And uh, like I say, cares another thing, y'all. Uh, right now, we just have going right now, just this little uh, DC operated solar power type uh, light. And that's good enough for us. But we got coal oil lamps that we use a lot of times. And when we eat a supper, we might, you know, light a few of them up. That's another thing you might want to, uh, you know, put in your home, though, if you don't have them already. Just some uh, kerosene lamps. Uh, like I say, candles, they work, but they're a little bit more dangerous. You know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend candles, to be honest with you. They're not going to put out a lot of light. And, uh, well, like I say, if you forget about them, you, you got kids, dogs, you know, it, who, you know, we don't keep dogs in our home. Well, actually, we do have one right now. Uh, there's a little little puppy, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's in a it's in a tote. So, uh, but the point being, you know, knock it over, your house is gonna catch you on fire. And uh, I know that's just common sense, but hey, we're people we're short on common sense anymore. You know, a lot of times, y'all. What you smiling about, Tasha? <laughs> a lot of people ain't got common sense, y'all. So hey. You, you might want to, you know, you, you just got to, you know, go the extra mile and inform people, hey, candles can be dangerous. They can burn your house down. Just like a lantern, you know, or, you know, coal lamp, you know, they can burn your house down too. 
your gas over here, you know, you, if you don't have, you know, if you don't use common sense and go where and we got pilot lights. This is the older type. Uh, that's another thing, you know, uh, stove with pilot lights. That's, I, I like those, you know, you can't get them no more, you know, I don't think. Uh, but hey, you leave a tile over there or a uh, hand mitt on top of your pilot light over there. Hey, catch it on fire. You can burn your house down. But hey, that's where you got to have common sense. You know, they said, well, that's what's the insurance is for. But guess what? If you have a wood stove in your home, at least around here, they don't want to give you no insurance because they're afraid you're going to burn your house down because you heat your house with wood. Is that not right, Tasha? That's right. So, uh, so you got to, you know, you got all kind of, you know, obstacles you got to kind of, you know, deal with. So, you know, what I told him, I said, well, guess what? You, you, you can cancel my insurance. That's fine. I'm going to keep my wood stove. And that's what we did. And I said, well, just what you going to do whenever your house burns down or tornado hits it? What you going to do? What are we going to do? Just like, we're going to do like, like how people's done for hundreds and <clears throat> thousand years. We're going to rebuild. We'll, we'll live the best way we can. So I know we're talking about a lot of different things and it feels good to talk about all these different things, y'all. I mean, this, this is, this is just, just normal life. You don't need somebody going around, you know, holding your hand always. You can make your own decisions, how you want to live your life. You know, who said you have to even have electricity? Well, I guess you live in California, some big cities. They're going to tell you, hey, you got to have this, you have that. We're going to take your kids away from you, you know? But hey, there you go again. You live on them crazy states and or cities, get out. Get out, y'all. Don't, don't stay there and let them tell you what to do. They put their britches on just like you do, okay? Time for people start standing up for things they believe in. And you know, start you know, stop taking a knee to 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 things that you don't believe in. Um, well, I tell you, Tasha, I can just keep going here. I guess I might be getting a little hungry. I'm getting a little grouchy, Tasha. <laughs> but y'all, hey, we're gonna be doing. I, I told Tasha uh, it's been a while since I did some videos. I'm gonna show you what's been going on around here. Been kind of busy. We're fixing to take a little camping trip uh, in, in a week or so. And, uh, well, we'll probably show y'all some of that. And Austin, he's been playing a lot of baseball and has been real busy with that. And, but uh, I just wanted to uh, do this little quick video here and just a little bit of a rant there. It felt good to uh, just get a lot of that off my shoulder there. Uh, I could talk about a lot more stuff. Hey, are you about ready to put that stuff together, Tosh? Yeah, they got to be put together. So she basically saying that you need to cut the camera off so we can eat. And uh, so I guess that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and get off here. But hey, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed the video today. Uh, it's just one of them uh, on the spare moment videos. It's nothing. Uh, it's real. Like they say, I say it's real TV, y'all. It's nothing fake here. It, it, it ain't no uh, 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 going to put her best clothes on and, and uh, Fix hair. fixing her hair and well, y'all, y'all know I don't even have no hair no more, so I ain't gonna worry about fixing my hair. But um, y'all drop some comments down below if y'all, if y'all, y'all got, y'all, y'all got something to say, and you think I'm crazy for uh, thinking the way I do, put your comments down below. I'll be obliged to uh, give you a comment back there. Might not like what I got to say, but hey, it's freedom of speech, right, y'all? Hey, y'all, y'all have a great day, and for my family, from yours, for my family to yours. How's that go, Tosh? From our family to yours, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day, and y'all, remember, they everybody puts their britches on just like you, and y'all stand up for what you believe in. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.